Former NFL player and philanthropist Jack Brewer demanding an apology from MSNBC host Joy Reid over her tweet suggesting this photo that you see right there on your screen of young boys holding signs critical against critical race theory amounts to child abuse. Brewer Group CEO Jack Brewer joins us now. Uh, Jack, here is a tweet that jo Joy Reid posted. She says, this misuse of black boys is tantamount to child abuse. I would really like to hear the back story on who these kids were and how they wound up at a DeSantis event, given how anti-black DeSantis is using black children this way is extra sick. What would you like to say in response? Man, every time, you know, it's, first off, this is too much. Every time I see this and hear this, uh, it really is heartbreaking. Um, she's talking about me. She's talking about my black kids that are in my program that come each and every day. Many who don't even have the resources to uh, have decent meals every day. They come there to eat. Some of them don't have shoes, socks, underwear. We provide those. Uh, so many are suffering from uh, the true effects of CRT. She, if she wants to know what CRT looks like, she can come to our facility. She can come to our after-school program, uh, and she can see that these boys and girls, because they're a black, they're totally that if they get a 50 or a 60 uh, on a test, that it's okay because they're black. Uh, and, and they're pushed through school and not ever challenged or not ever uh, taught about the hope that this country offers. We teach the kids all of that. We're a godly program. We teach the Word of God straight from the Bible, and we teach our kids to love God with all their heart and all their might and all their strength, and to love their neighbor as themselves, and to go out and serve the very communities that they live, whether it's picking up trash, whether it's feeding other folks, uh, getting out and serving one another. Those are the principles we're about. And Joy Reid completely disrespected and humiliated me and, most importantly, my children. I don't want her money. I don't want MSNBC's money. But I do want to hold them accountable because this is the same spirit that's piercing our nation from its core when it comes to our underserved, voiceless, fatherless black children. We have an epidemic in our country that I get on here and talk about a lot with 18.6 million fatherless kids. The majority of my kids uh, in my underserved program uh, are fatherless. And so I do have a problem with that because she doesn't realize what, what, she, what her voice is doing. She's spewing darkness. And someone needs to hold this woman accountable. And if God has anointed me to do that, I will move forward. Jack, do you think she'll apologize? I don't know. You know, I pray for her. I really do. I, I, I don't hate her. I don't hate anyone. I'm a man of God. And the Bible tells us to forgive. And I would forgive her. I would forgive MSNBC, whatever is on their hearts. But I hope she does because, you know, as a black woman that has this much power and this big of a voice to so many people, I think she has the obligation to her people that she claims to love so much. Well, this is a program. We're touching them. We're touching them each and every day. And and I can tell her, if she wants to come see our kids and see what we do, come on, Joy. We're open for you. But do not bash us in public, and don't take this away from our kids. They were excited to meet their governor. Now, all of a sudden, they got to hear people harassing them yeah. and talking about them. I have to call the police to get extra it's security horrible, to look over our center. It's, it's terrible. It's horrible. Well, you have so much love in your heart, and we thank you so much for coming on and sharing your side of the story. I hope that Joy Reid listens to what you had to say, because there's no way that you can dispute um, your message and what you're doing is absolutely right. Got to leave it there.